Hey, everyone, hope you're having a good day. Um, look at my belly. Look. Wait, watch this. Y'all, I'm just bloated or something. I don't know, like my belly, like I can bring it back, but like this feels so, so much more comfortable since I'm just feeling like, I don't know what's going on. I think it's because I drink this whole drink. I'm just feeling like a, you know, that's just kind of how I'm going today. Uh, my skin is breaking out. It's been breaking out for the past two weeks. I may go on Accutane. I know I said, oh, I'm not gonna go on Accutane. I'm not like most people, I'm not basic. But my mom's like, you should really go on Accutane. Your sister's eating it up. She loves Accutane. Your skin has been awful for the past five years. You should just sign up. And I've always been saying no, but I, because of like this week and the last week, how bad my skin was, I was like, okay, maybe I will. So I went on the dermatologist website. I did like book an appointment, but I went to the website. Kind of there's a chance, but also there's not a chance. Okay, I'm gonna do my skincare routine. I did go to Starbucks, but I haven't done my skincare routine. I got some gummies that we're gonna eat. I can't remember if I ate like two of these gummies this morning. There's a chance I did. Are there any side effects if you accidentally eat too many biotin gummies? I don't think so. Maybe it'll just make me stronger. I honestly, like, I've been struggling so hard remembering if I take these or not. I've probably been taken for a day. And you're only supposed to be taken two and I'm not having any side effects. Maybe, well, maybe that's a side effect, honestly. These are so good. I crave like, like the vitamin C gummies, the Flintstone gummies, all those gummies. I crave them. Um, if y'all watch my mansion vlog, I like raved and raved about this peppermint. It's a blemish treat treatment mist, but it's like peppermint smelled and they sent me it. I like posted in my video since I unboxed like the little gift bag and they didn't have this spray and they're like, oh, we'll send you it. So they sent me it. And it's my favorite thing ever. I'm not sure, like, I haven't seen like a noticeable difference yet. Probably since I've only used it for like two days. But I just like the smell. Like, I love the smell of it. I love smelling like a little peppermint patty. So I've been eating it up. Should I put on this nourishing lip balm? Maybe I will. And an under eye stick. And I think that's my skincare today. I, I honestly use different products every freaking day. Since I don't like... I don't like consistency. So this is an under eye stick. Hopefully it'll help with my under eye bags. Ooh, why is, why is this kind of making me shiver my timbers a little bit? Oh, <gasps> I almost knocked over my strawberry acai. I found my jade roller. I haven't seen it since I moved from my apartment. I think these things are honestly a scam. Like look, do I look chiseled? No, there's no way this is doing anything. What is this called? Nourish and lip balm. Oh, I did way too much. Okay, we got the weightless moisturizer on my hand. We're just gonna massage it in. While we're massaging this in, like the freaking rudest thing ever happened yesterday. Well, it wasn't the rudest thing in my life, but it was kind of rude. So I'm at this Indian restaurant and we got some butter chicken. And honestly, Indian food is like one of my favorite foods in the world. I just kind of crave it. Like it tastes so good, it's so savory. And anyways, there was this like strawberry, what was it? It was strawberry cream and yogurt, and it was like an Indian drink, like smoothie type thing, and I saw it on the menu, and so I told the server, I was like, could I get this strawberry drink? And the server goes, do you want black strawberries, red strawberries, or blue strawberries? And I'm like, what the heck? But then I think, like, I'm thinking in the back of my mind, I'm like, I feel like I've heard about blue strawberries, so black strawberries must exist. So I'm thinking in my head, and then I'm like, black strawberries. That's what I want. And the server goes, well, you'll have to go somewhere else since we only have red ones. Oh my gosh, everyone at the table freaking laughed at me. And I was like, come on, server. That was so uncalled for. I was so like, okay. I was so excited. Like, I'm the, I'm, I was so gullible. I love trying new foods and stuff. So I was like, black strawberries. Like, that sounds freaking wild. And he's like, oh, pranked, pranked. I, I literally, I was like, Okay, I think I'm just gonna do the peppermint spray and then we're gonna call it a, call it a day with my skincare routine. So this stuff burns if it gets in your eyes really bad. <coughs> so now I just gotta stand here and wait a little bit. I need to find my strawberry acai since I definitely inhaled some of the peppermint. Oh, 
Oh my gosh, I got the peppermint in my eye. I'm just gonna end the bowl. I'm just gonna stop the video for a second. My skin is glowing. This peppermint finally died down a little bit. It got on my eyes. I think I like sprayed a little too much, but my skin is radiated and I smell like a stick of gum. What a treat. Also, I went up in the canyon the other day with my friends and I took some Polaroids. So I thought I would show you all them. Here's me as a ghost. Here's me and my friend as a ghost. And then here is me sitting in a pasture. Also, I don't know what that yellow thing is and it kind of freaks me out since it kind of looks like eyes. I don't know what that is. Isn't that kind of weird? That could be like a spirit or something. And then here's a little picture of gravel that my friend accidentally hit my dang Polaroid camera and took a picture of the gravel. Okay, what's that in the corner? What the, what is that? Oh, y'all. Yo, what if I'm getting haunted right now? Tis the season. What was that noise? That was kind of weird. Okay, let's go and get ourselves a little bagel. I'm hungry. That skincare routine, really, I was probably burning so many calories doing that roller. Um, I need it. I need to get myself a little bagel. So we are going to that bagel place. It's called the Bagel Den. I've gone there. I think I've gone there a couple times and vlogged it. It's really good. It is so good. So the plan for today, I'll give y'all the little schedule, is my brother and I at like seven o'clock are going to this moon ski lift watching party. And you hop on a little ski lift and see the little moon on the horizon. But we're going at seven and it's probably before the moon is even up there. I don't, I don't want to see the crowds. I don't want to be in a crowd of people. So we're going like right when the place opens and the moon's not even out yet. And we are literally snatching our aunt's pass. Hopefully like we don't get caught. My aunts have like a family pass and we, we're family. We're like extended family. So we're going to try and use it and hopefully they don't call the cops on us. Because if not, it's like $30. We aren't about that life. We aren't about that. And then maybe our friends are coming over tonight. I don't really know. There's like a lot of ifs going on. A lot of ifs. And then tomorrow I am going back home. So like I told my friends, if y'all want to do something for the next two weeks, it's literally now or never. So hopefully something will happen. We'll have to see. Hello. Um, could I get a French toast bagel with blueberry uh, cream cheese? They had like a pumpkin cream cheese flyer on the window, but honestly it looks horrendous. Like it looks so gross. Why would you ever want pumpkin cream cheese? I'm all about like pumpkin spice everything. If it was like pumpkin spice cream cheese, I would eat it up, but like pumpkin cream cheese? I'm gonna show you all the picture of it. Ew! Look at it. That's gross. Whoever whoever came up with that idea should be fired immediately. That's nasty. I have the worst hairline ever. My hairline's like kind of squampus. Like every single time I get my hair cut by someone, they're like, wow, this hairline though. Oh, like this is kind of fun. This is kind of different. Since my hairline goes like this. It's probably hair trans transplant worthy, but I'm not going to do it. I don't know. It's... What's it called? I don't know. Makes me self-conscious. I am so self-conscious. Like anytime my hair gets wet, I like right before I come out of the water, I like fix it. Oh my gosh, wait, did I tell him to toast my bagel? I'm not sure I wanted to toast it. Bagel reveal. Ooh, it kind of got a little messy in the bag. Let's pull it out. Oh my goodness, they've outdone themselves. This bagel den is probably my favorite bagel place ever. And I think the only bagel place I've ever been in my life because they put like so much cream cheese, like too much. Like it's almost like you want some bagel with a cream cheese. Mm -mm -mm. It's a good thing I turned off this camera right when I was eating that because I tore this little, little thing up. I tore it up, I ate it up, I ate it up so quick. It was probably a horrendous sight. We got to have a real talk though. I have been really freaking struggling with, I think it's mostly, I don't know what it is. It's Snapchat's fault. It's photo library's fault. They keep giving me those dang flashbacks, you know, where it's like two years ago today, three years ago today. And I'll look at them and honestly, I look at them and I cannot remember life being that exciting. Like it'll be some memory and I'll just be honestly sitting on a couch with my friends like back in high school and I'll see that and be like, 
that looks fun. Like, that looks so fun. I wish I was doing that right now. Or it'll be like a flashback and I'll be on some kind of trip or something and think, oh, that is so fun. Everything looks more fun than what I'm doing right now. And it honestly, it makes me a little depressed, makes me a little sad when I'm just sitting in my room watching a little movie, watching a little TV show, eating peanut butter M&Ms on the couch. Every freaking thing on my phone, I just look at it and get so envious. I keep thinking, I want to I want to be doing that. Like, anything then what I'm doing right now looks so much fun. I've come, came up with this little trick. Since I bet some of y'all struggle with this too. It's kind of like FOMO of yourself in the past. Nostalgia. This is my little trick. It's changed my life. I started implementing it last week and really it's, it's honestly helped. So my trick is anytime you think of a memory or anytime you see a little Snapchat memory or something that looks so much fun, it can be a trip to Hawaii or it can be you at a fancy restaurant or with your friends or with your dog that died or something like that, like whatever you're looking at that's making you sad and wishing, oh, wish we could turn back time to the good old days. Ew. I just realized that was 21 Pilots. I'm not a 21 Pilots hater, but stressed out kind of gives me the cringe, gives gives me the ick. So, oh, on my phone. This is a demonstration of what to do. Oh, on my phone. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm the boy from Old Yeller, by the way. Oh my gosh, Old Yeller. This is when he had rabies and we took him behind the barn and him. Oh my gosh, I miss Old Yeller. He was such a good dog. So then you th think in your head and it like you're thinking, you're like, oh my gosh, I'm almost emotional. I want to be back with Old Yeller so bad. I want to play fetch. Just think in your head. Oh, my tummy probably hurt that day. That it changes your life. Like you think I'm lying, it changes your life. Like you'll look in your memories and you'll see all your friends that you used to hang out with and then there was a fallen out and now you guys aren't friends anymore. Just look at it and then think in your head, my tummy probably hurt so bad that day and I probably wanted to leave. I probably wanted to run to the bathroom. My tummy was hurt in there. It's not as fun as it looks. My tummy was hurt in. You guys, you guys probably think it's a joke, it's not. It really works. And so anytime I have a memory, anytime, I get a little bit of, oh my gosh, this man with a cowboy hat came out of the freaking woodworks. I think he came out of this creek down here. There's like a little stream and he like crawled out. Literally, like under, oh my gosh, so many people are, oh, is that a cop? Oh my gosh, what is going on? Okay, we're getting out of this parking lot. I'm getting paranoid, this is weird. Something's going down and I don't wanna be a part of it. Let's get out of here. Okay, what's up y'all? We picked up our tickets from our aunt. Well, technically they aren't even our tickets. They have our cousin's names on and I'm really hoping that like when they scan it, it won't pop up a picture of our um, cousins that are, oh my gosh, sorry. It kind of looks like I'm descended into heaven. Um, I'm hoping it doesn't show pictures of our cousins that are gingers and much younger than us. We got some popcorn. I'm not sure if we're supposed to like try and sneak it on the ski lift, but I think we are. The lift ride from what I was reading is like 40 minutes. 40 minutes sitting in a chair. Did you not read it? It is so pretty right now. All the leaves are turning red. Okay, I will see y'all once we park. Okay, we just parked. It's super crowded. And now I think we hop on like a little trolley and it takes us down to the ski lift. But it's really cold. My brother didn't bring a sweater. I'm just wearing like a, oh, I'm wearing a sweater. <laughs> <laughs> now I just gotta wait on the bus. I need to pee. And if this ski lift is 50 minutes, I'm in trouble. <laughs> It is so chilly. Also, I went in the bathroom and there was a low hanging shelf. And so when I went right up to the urinal, I slammed my head on the shelf so hard and I made the loudest noise and everyone in the urinal stalls looked over. It was humiliating and it scared me really bad. Okay. Yeah, we just have the passes. Okay, we just got hot apple cider, it was only $4, and then we got a big old pumpkin chocolate chip cookie. It's so cold, it's so cold. It's coming behind us, it's coming. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, y'all. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna pass out. <laughs> you pull it down, you pull it, oh. Oh, oh my, <laughs> wait, oh my gosh. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Wait, okay. So we're like halfway through this ski lift and we just barely found out we we're supposed to put this down. <laughs> so we were just dangling. 
Got my cider. Am I in frame? Hey y'all, we're just on the ski lift. It is so scary, I'm so scared of heights. I can't see the ground right now, so I'm just kind of disassociating. But I got my, um, what is this called, cider? Oh, it does taste like plastic. It's kind of good. I'm gonna say right now, it's no hot girl autumn sucker. Tybot.com, go get yours. This is so scary, I was so like scared that we, <laughs> we were like, <laughs> We were dangling above with no handrail over. They should have told us to push the handrail over. Y'all, this is so scary. <laughs> this is so scary. I'm, I'm shutting the flash on my phone so I can't see the floor. Oh my gosh, can't even see the ground. <laughs> so <laughs> our seatbelt came down and I'm straddling it. Oh my gosh. Hey guys, <laughs> they just stopped the ski lift. <laughs> I'm about to freak out. I'm so scared right now. Where's the mouth hole? I'm so scared right now. <laughs> If, if it takes too long, I'm slipping right up under here and I'll walk down. <laughs> Why is everyone screaming? Oh my gosh, are those wolves? Oh my gosh, I think those were wolves. Okay, lighting. Are you enjoying yourself? Yeah. It is so much fun. It is very spooky though. I'm getting more comfortable. Like the seats are very plush, very cush. Should we break open the cookie or no? We got this big old cookie that we gotta split. I'm just scared of dropping my phone. Why does it sound like something's broken out on top of us? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh wait, we're going higher. I thought this was the turnaround. Okay, forehead reveal. <gasps> the moon. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so scared. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pass out. What if those are actually wolves? What if the wolves killed everyone down there? Get the cookie out, get the cookie oh. out. Oh my gosh, hurry, I'm starving. Oh, these are good. These are really good. Um, I'm not feeling that scared anymore, but it's still kind of spook. It really is. James, I think there's a wolf on this <laughs> ski lift with us. James, just do the smallest out. No, just do it, do it, do it. Oh, <laughs> okay, he thought he was so clever and lifted up the bar, so we're free falling right now. We're almost down though. And finally, I was getting a little restless. It took a long time. Also, I thought I was being so funny and howled like everyone else. And I'm like, James, howl with me since we won't see him again. And then he wouldn't. So I just held by myself and then the ski lift stopped. And like, they were right across from us. So I howled and then I stared at him for like 30 minutes. What up y'all? We just got back from the mountains and we got our little, we went to Sonic and go, we got our little slushes. I got a strawberry slush. James, what did you get? Lean in the camera a little bit. What do you get? Grape with blue, nerds. Blue raspberry strawberry. <laughs> Ew, you should have given that to yourself. And then we also got mozzarella sticks. And we're probably just gonna snack on this, go back. I'm trying to, I think we should watch a movie. It's 9.38 though, so kind of curfew, kind of not. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe, comment down below what y'all want to see in the next vlog. I kind of want to do, they do like a Halloween ski lift too. I kind of want to do that too. So let me know if y'all think that would be a good vlog or if I should just do it for fun. Comment down below video ideas and I'll see y'all next time. Bye. Oh.